the disappearance of Cher Height is a two hour long documentary about Cher Height. She is a woman who was very open and very, uh, very in tune with her sexuality. And she created in the 1970s a report called the Height Report. That's uh, H I T E, the Height Report, named after herself. And it sold millions of copies. It, it, it has become one of the best selling books of all time. And all she did was share height, put out a questionnaire. And this is at the time, like this is like the early 70s, put out this questionnaire to women, like physical questionnaire that they had to write out and fill out and then mail in or she collected them live. And she uh, she collected this data about how women felt about sex. I feel like we almost know, or at least if you're mildly curious, it you can go on your own journey and learn a lot about sex and sexuality and and whatnot. But at the time that this book came out, it was not a topic of conversation that was very public. And I'll say for a documentary that's two hours, this film does an incredible job of not just defining who Cher Height was but how significant this book was. And then the, the reaction to the report, uh, she ended up becoming this huge media figure and she was, she, she was treated incredibly poorly at the time because she was just pointing out what a lot of things that we take for granted today, like, you know, women enjoy sex and sometimes uh, sex can be dissatisfying and maybe certain conversations should be had. and. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go deep in, into it. I'll just say that I was blown away by the doc. It's also another arch archival doc, which I, uh, archival docs when done well are fascinating. And it talks about how she kind of just after the media kind of like or the media really went after her. She just said, you know what? Peace out. I'm done. I'm done. But we would not be having the conversations today that that we're just able to openly have if not for this book. It was a revolution at the time and even her method for collecting the data. And it was just women telling their stories through this simple questionnaire about how they felt about sex. And it was a non-judgmental, like, well, tell me, like, you know, she asked just very basic questions about things like the female orgasm and whatnot. I just found this archival doc incredibly fascinating and you're going to get a strong recommendation from me. Uh, I was surprised how, how riveting this documentary was um, even, even at the two hour running time. I thought, I thought really, really well done and bravo to the director, Nicole Noon, Noon, uh, Noonham. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. This movie's out from IFC films it has gotten a limited theatrical release, and my assumption is, uh, like all the IFC films, will come soon to VOD. So, I recommend this movie. Alan, did you see the disappearance? I didn't, I didn't see it, but I, I do now. I mean, you're telling me that she was attacked for stating facts. Well, she was attacked for basically, like, it was weird because they they show this. Basically, what happens is a lot of men kind of push back against the report. And she was just treated very poorly by the media and where they would she was get telling her, the truth. And they didn't like what well, the truth had to say. they would put her in these gotcha situations and they show footage of her just walking off an interview. I mean, she was just saying, Hey, if men and women talk to each other about sex, maybe they can improve their relationship. And a lot of people took it the wrong way, yeah. but well, thankfully I, times have changed and things have improved. And gotten worse for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. I think ma male female relationships are worse for different reasons, not having nothing to do with this um, right. the height report. But it was just like, a, hey, I'm just going to publish this data. This is all the the book that she did. The first book is like a a uh, the height report is like a compilation of all the data and stories she had women tell her through this questionnaire, and it, it, it like she was surprised by it. Well, I mean, I think my point is, is that, you know, if, if someone makes a provocative statement, at, at least consider it, at least critically analyze it, whether you agree with it or not, but we can have a conversation about these things. 
you know, we could probably learn something about ourselves. We could probably learn something that makes the world a better place. And, uh, you know, and, you know, realize that you may not agree with 100% of it, but there's, there's certainly common ground we can all have. And I think that's what we're finding here is that she was just saying what, what women were thinking. But she, but she was just to be clear, she was an old school feminist, right? She was yeah. definitely a feminist, but old school feminist because she loved men. Mm -hmm. And I feel like current day feminism has pivoted towards men are evil and they are the reason for everything wrong in the world. That's not helpful, mm -hmm. but, uh, she is an old school feminist, uh, uh, a very liberated woman. And that was, um, that was radical at the time. And her, her book, I believe her book was a force for good in the end. And, and the movie lays that out. And a lot of it, like a lot of it, the movie is her in her own words or her interviews. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, really, really one of the best documentaries I've seen this year about a difficult topic, sex.